Okay, so I ordered a new camcorder to do my YouTube videos with. I ordered it through Electronic Hi-Fi Incorporated. Um, they ship through Walmart and sell through Walmart. So it came in like four days, which was really good. Um, it cost me $298 plus $10 shipping. Now it comes with... It's a Sony Full HD 6P camcorder with carrying case and 8GB micro SD card. So, this is my unboxing. So, here we are with the uh, carrying case. It's got a nice, it's nice, uh, nice tough nylon y type material. It's not flimsy at all. It's got nice, uh, fairly heavy duty zippers. And. To release the handle to get the zipper all the way open so that's okay so if you're carrying it and the handles up it's hard to get the top flap open but there it is it's nicely padded it's got a section that uh, divided off there so you can put uh, I guess the cables in one side charger in the other I uh, got a zippered front pouch or an extra battery or you can carry the SD converter card thing there so, yeah, all in all, it's a nice bag. Okay. So, let, oh, okay, look, here's the uh, 8 gig card. It's Sony, so it's a good one. Here's the camcorder in the box. I get it out, get some stuff out of the way there. Okay, oh, there's all the instructions. And we'll find the English one here. That's what I need. Of course it's the one on the bottom there we go okay so that'll come in handy so in this box we got well, there's the uh, 110 plug with the USB uh, connection there's the USB wire for the uh, charger that's not bad it's like a meter long cord that's pretty good usually you get like a 12 inch piece of cord Okay, another cable here, that's, uh, oh, that's the HDMI cable for hooking to the, your TV. There's the battery, nice little battery. Cell phone size, so it's not going to add weight to the camera, which is good. Box is empty. Okay, here's the camera itself. Nice, small, light, compact. Yep. Fairly easy to open. Little compartment here. Okay, so that's the HDMI plug plus the micro card plugs in there. So that's pretty nice. Nice carrying handle. It's a shutter open and close manually, which is okay. Um, well, there's where the battery goes. Okay. So it has a little arrow there. So I guess you match the arrow on the battery to the arrow on the camcorder. Snaps in quite easy. Okay. Open it up. It's auto turn on when you open it up. So you, uh, it's ease of operation there. So it's asking me to do all the setup, pick language, pick country, uh, date, time, all that stuff. So there's the uh, record button, the focus, zoom in, zoom out. Got a little snapshot button for the uh, still images. There's a little adapter on the side there. Okay, well, I'll turn this off and have a look at the book. So, I had a look at the book, got it all set up. Digital card in there. So, went through the uh, little scroll button here, which scrolls you through all of the menu. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Um, charger is there. It's, uh, it's in there already. It just tucks into the handle which is it's kind of nice uh, another spot that won't get dirt into it but zoom in zoom out let's make this handle a little bigger so we'll see what it's like there okay get your hand in there your fingers and thumbs you can reach the control buttons the snapshot button the zoom in zoom out button record button so yeah, so that's a zoom in, zoom out. It's pretty smooth. Um, 
Yeah. So it gives you the options too. There it is. Yeah. Nice gives you the option to uh, play back and uh, see what you've filmed. So there we are, zooming in, zooming out. That's a pretty easy function button. Okay. So. Okay. So I got it uh, set up to the uh, tripod. Um, easy. Uh, easy to do. To uh, screw it on backwards with my in the mount hole and the screw hole are backwards either on my tripod or on the camera I, I don't know but I just put it on backwards it doesn't have the little mount hole that holds everything square it's on a pin and mine so it just pushed out of the way so now the handles behind the lens not in front of the lens so um, as for the rest of the camera the drop down menu on the screen is uh, straightforward. Um, if you not very if you're not very tech savvy, it's fairly easy to do. Just go through the book, go through all the functions. Well I didn't use the book too much. I just like pushing buttons, so I pushed all the buttons and uh, worked out in a very short time. Uh, so yeah, I think I'll be using this camera a fair bit um, as it fits on the tripod. It's got the uh, zoom uh, feature which is, I find is going to be pretty good for zooming in on different things that I'm doing. So the GoPro is still my go-to camera I think when I'm outside in the elements. Uh, great rough tough camera. But I think I'll be doing a lot of videos with this camera. So I'll put a couple of pictures of how the mount on my tripod and on this camera uh, were different. Um, so I'll do that now. Okay, so here's the pictures of the uh, screw holes and thing. You can see where it's, and you can see the handle on the bottom right there. So see, there's the uh, front of the camera. It's just not the way it's supposed to be. So if I just swish it around, put the screw in there so the handle's at the back, no problem. There it is there, set up. It'll work it a little bit. That works great. I don't think there'd be any kind of a problem with that. Like I say, looks good. Okay, so everything's good. Uh, I got a couple of things to do. It's a rainy day. Uh, so thanks for watching.